pay us double time the time and a half, but then send us home on straight time. It's a bigger tax write off. They pay out more money. That's what we mess up. We need to think stupid. That's how you blow up. Got to learn to hustle. I don't think that's us when you. It is for the owners. Nah. Uh, so they, they lose all their money and they lay us all off. They send it to Mexico and they have the price of the labor. True. We need to get us some Mexicans. Yeah. Like that's like the solution. Like if we like every problem we run into, we can solve it. We have some Mexicans. Yeah. Yard yeah. fucked up. Mexican. Yeah. Like they didn't do anything. Yeah. They didn't do anything for nothing. Warehouse workers strike. Go get Julio and them. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I wish I did have some Mexican shit that I could like use. Like I wish I had the capital and shit to like, cause I would, I'd be like at the border of Texas and Mexico, whatever the border at and shit, and I'd be looking. And I'll be out there like a casually observer, probably having like a metal detector, like going down the ground, like I'm looking for change or some uh-huh. prices, some, some gold or some shit. And I'll see that motherfucker grass moving and shit. <laughs> <laughs> grass moving and spurt. Whole family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're hopping the trunk. Yep. Like, um, no problem. And whoever don't make it, they don't make it. Um, I ain't never seen but I know you're talking about Oh, man. That ugliest you know, motherfucking Mexican, Mexican in the history. <laughs> What's his name, man? Uh, Danny Trio. And he done died in every movie <laughs> except for that. And that motherfucker, you cannot tell me he's ever been four years old. Man. He's <laughs> never been <laughs> four, man. You know, how, ugly, you know how he started acting? He said he had just got to jail and was just walking home. And they needed an extra for some movie. <laughs> and they need somebody look like just got out of jail. And he's like, shit, I just got out of jail. I played a perk for it. From there on, he's been an actor. And he's always playing a role that looks like someone who just got out of jail. Yep. <laughs> and he dies, died in heat. <laughs> What's the best movie he been in? Heat. Heat. He was in Heat. Yeah, maybe he's the driver that got killed. I can't remember. In, in the house. I can't remember, man. I was just talking about Heat the other nah, day. Nah, Desperado. He was the shit of Desperado. Wasn't he on, uh... He was the, yeah, he was. When well, he's throwing them knives. Hell yeah. I watched that Sunday. Wasn't he in um, Dust It On too? Yep. Dust It On, man, that's one of the best vampire movies ever. You like one that? or two? Part one? Yeah, part one. I like it. Oh, that shit's down, a man. fucking classic. Yeah, they say Dust It Down. I didn't like it. Ooh, he said, why you want <laughs> He said, why you want to be out here? He said, man, that's a fucking classic. I like What's it. a vampire movie better? I like Fright Night. Night. What do you say, Fright Night? Night. 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 No, no. <laughs> the old one. Fright Night. Was, I like, I like yeah. Fright Night, but I, I guess... Dust Till Dawn was incredible, man. That shit was Dracula. scary. What's the Dracula? <laughs> what do you want to say? Count Dracula. Count Dracula. What? Blood. Blood idiot. I mean, I'm thinking about What's the chocolate Dracula? Count Chocula. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the only, that's the only count I respect. You're the only one I respect. What, um, what's your favorite vampire movie? It's uh, Buffy Vampire Slayer. <laughs> it's a more contemporary. <laughs> Wasn't that a movie at first? I didn't yeah, get yeah. vampire movie to the underworld. That shit. Oh, yeah. Underworld, but, that, but Buffy on the low, that movie the TV series was hard. Yeah, I like the TV that series. That shit was hard to me back then. Yeah, you had to check that shit out. Sorry, no. On a WB, WWWWD. They had to take that racist frog off. They had the frog shucking and jogging in the 90s. Doing the Chicken George. Shout out to Dave Chappelle for bringing that out. I like chicken. He made a joke about that. Remember what he said? That's what made him quit the show. He made that joke. He said somebody in the audience that was white laughed too hard at the joke. Yeah, that's right. cool. At that WB frog. Yeah. That's how it be though, man. Like, I'll be bullshitting on Facebook. I troll a fucking lot. I troll the shit out of black bitches. I troll I'm a too. black bitch troll. And, like, I, I found a meme last night, nigga, and I couldn't wait to post it today. The one I, where it's like uh, four out of five black women are submissive, then they got that hoochie mama, for lack of a better word, stare. You ain't see that shit? You got five women lined up. Yeah. All of them are looking forward except for the fifth one. <laughs> and so it's saying four out of five. Females, what? How's it go? Four out of five females submit to their uh, man. You know what that man says or something. <laughs> I, I, he got to post it, but you had the fifth one looking sideways, like looking at at you as you watch the picture. You see that shit? It, it's the funny. It, it's automatically. Oh, it's what? Oh, oh, oh. It's automatically my top five memes ever. It's like the funniest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. So cool this shit. 
But man, it's been a. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's been an eventful it's weekend of news, man. Hey. It's Whoa. been. <clears throat> God damn it. <laughs> it's been an eventful weekend of news. Starting off with the shit that happened to one of my homeboys, Corey V. Yeah. Bobby. Damn, call this whole name government. Come on, boo. Come on, boo. We kicking this shit off talking about Bobby Valentino. With a trainee. With a what? A trainee. She was a transgender. He <laughs> was. Yeah. Well, see, these niggas be yeah. sick. And the age old question is what would you have done if you was in that situation? Well, first of all, I wouldn't be in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> So that what, is that that what would you do? <laughs> this is like, a test, nigga. Say yeah. <laughs> hey, you got caught sucking dick. <laughs> they had you on TV. What would you say? <laughs> yeah. I'd want a mouthful of dick. Yeah. <laughs> you say my lips. I don't even suck dick like that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> but did, did you see the video? Yeah, nigga yeah. run down the hallway, yeah. slow jogging down the hallway. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no okay, shoes. Then, to answer your question, when you say, "What would you do?" Because the nigga was like, "Oh, no, I, 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 no, I wouldn't be in that situation." But honestly, okay. he he's been hanging with her for a minute. Who hanging with her? He, why the fuck you keep calling him a her? It, her, whatever. See, that's why I know y'all already yeah. yeah. lost. Y'all yeah. lost the battle. We saw yeah. that nigga her. He was hiding his face and running. I wouldn't have been hiding. I would have split it. Like we'd have been fighting. He was recording. But this ain't this ain't his first time. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. what I like. So it's like been caught a couple times with He been cool with it. Yeah. It was arguing about the money. That's yeah, what that's what he was arguing about the money. That's what it was. Yeah. He said he was, he was, he was, he was just getting all he Nah, was, digga. I ain't out. paid that. Look here, digga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey man, look though, that shit. So he, he was gonna walk out. Yeah. You know, some cool stuff. Realize his shoes and shirt by the doors. I'm getting that phone, that cell phone. Yeah. Cell but phone out. He trying to be all cool about it. Uh, was, I'm, I'm this nigga was like this. <laughs> but now he jogged off like when you tripping and you play it off or whatever. Like, and 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 cover, 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 and and covering his face, man. We'd fall. It would have been a fight. Like, like, yeah, you gotta take the phone and break it. Yeah, it would have been a fight. This is why I tell people all the time. Uh, I'm not no casual fucker. I'm not gonna meet no new bitch and give her some dick, and she got gigantic ass hands. <laughs> Cause like no matter what, man, you put on heels, makeup, and all that shit, man. But Can't the truth is in the hands, nigga. Like I'll be like, nigga, what are these bitch? What are these calluses here for? Why do you have calluses? What do you do? Do you drive a forklift, bitch? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you, but that's a good question. Yeah. Do you change jobs after you change gender? So like you was that nigga that was driving forklift. <laughs> Your reception <laughs> now. Throwing out a thousand boxes per hour. Oh, you man. switch job. Automatically you got to be a secretary. Yeah. Automatically it's the transition that comes with it. Went from Martin to Marsha. Yeah. <laughs> well, um. <laughs> so, so the backlash, man, it was, it was hilarious. I mean, that's that Atlanta lifestyle. No offense to my friend from Atlanta. Yeah, it's the biggest black gay population. Hey, they I, say. I, I was born in Indianapolis. <laughs> like how in the fuck like how in the fuck did it happen? Like when did the like how did Atlanta become a fag bill? I don't get it. I don't, I don't understand know. that shit, man. God, when we were kids, they used to talk about San Francisco was like fag capital of the world. Yeah. Then the village of New York type shit. But Atlanta is like fucking Sodom and Gomorrah. Well they said the biggest black gay. I'm about to say capital. yeah. San Francisco is still the gay. Still the gay. Yeah. Gay. Uh, Gay, but Atlanta is think, a trend. I don't know. I'm you just say saying. San Francisco beat Atlanta. Yeah. Gay, gay wise, gay wise. Like, gay wise. Gay wise. They got black gays, white gays, basically like everybody that's gay that goes. But there. black gays, the best gays. I We dominate everything. Uh, those those are not, <laughs> those are not my thoughts. Man, the freshest and thought about the casino nobody is that. Hey, hey, okay, let me see, let me see. Who a famous black faggot? RuPaul. RuPaul. Name a better white. A better white cross. Elton John. A better white cross dress. Cross Jesser. Bruce, Bruce Jenner. Jenner. <laughs> Bale, here's what a year? Sportsman of the Year, cover of Bowl, cover of L. That nigga, got, that nigga got 20 magazine covers and 
30 months. And he got from the Olympic Gold. Every check has a clean dress up. You really keep up with Bruce Jenner. <laughs> <laughs> you really keep up with Bruce Jenner. They ran I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> you really ran down that nigga resume. Size 14 shoes. <laughs> 38 like, ways. He signed with Nike in 1976, <laughs> right after he was on the Wheaties box. <laughs> that nigga went from the Wheaties. after they shut down Freak Nick, man. After they shut that down That sounded like a fucking strong correlation. 97. The Olympics came through there. That was it. They bonded they in 97. They dropped off game. They got a serious yep. disease control t- uh, there, too. Hey, this is a test. They, 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 they be putting that shit out there. I'm going to tell y'all this, man. I ain't going to believe this shit, but I asked y'all to look this shit up before y'all just dismiss it. That's why the Walking Dead is racing in Atlanta. Yeah. They shot at uh, Old Boys uh, studios. I think they um, put, the I think they put vaccine vaccines. I think they put vaccine <laughs> vaccines. It's a woman who said her son turned to a fag after he got his shot. I've seen it. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. What would you, what would you do? You get a, what would you do, man? You got a sugar shot. Man, what, yes. You get a shot of cock. You know? <laughs> Cock in the needle. Yeah. Like, what would you do if you were like, hey, son, you want to go to the, I don't want to go to the doctor. They don't kind of tired. Son, we got to go get this injection. The, the government makes us. I don't want to go to... Okay. Hey, shoop. Daddy, can we go get some ice cream? <laughs> huh? I want the pink kind. I don't know what flavor it is. It's not bubble gum, is it? <laughs> like, you know, like, what would you do if your son came from that different? You know, I'm not your father, right? I was just, you know, I just stepped in at the time when I met your mother and she was already pregnant, so I'm just like, you know. Hey, baby, mama, uh, times are hard. I, I can't be that daddy. I, I want to sign my rights off. This will scare me, too. I came out the pussy. I'm going back in. <laughs> That's what that nigga said in response, cause they was they had that the video, cause all the shit they got the video about uh him and Bobby Valentino was a little scrappy. They got the video of him hanging around with some questionable face bitches. But remember that on Love and Hip Hop, they was all uh, at the table and shit, and he looked at kind of who Bobby Valentino. was all. They ain't no nigga running around with Astro and Mohawk. Who don't look at that? You dry today? Whoa! Today. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh nigga, yeah. when are you wet? Hey, <laughs> oh, it's oh, Take it easy, <laughs> nigga. Relax. <laughs> but no, a little scrappy. He was accused, man. He'd be guilty by association, man. Like you can be guilty by association. Like you, if you yeah, ever come out there, I go there all the time because all my friends is hoes. <laughs> so they. <laughs> Chicks, they yeah, yeah, I thought you were about to say something else. <laughs> Look, he started blushing when he said that. They think I'm a hoe. And I told you, men can't be hoes. Quit, yeah. quit applying women terminology to yourself. Next thing you know, you be saying so you need your butt rubbed. Whoa. Two o'clock in the morning on Facebook on Snapchat, I need my booty rubbed. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Shit. But Bobby Valentine, I mean, uh, Lil Scrappy said he wants no part of that. He's like, I. He did it when, nigga quit. This is how he fucking disses himself. So I did a few songs with the nigga. <laughs> That's how he yeah. did this stuff. They weren't even hits. Hell yeah. <laughs> you probably don't remember most of them. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even remember doing nothing with Bobby Valentino. I mean, I'm, I don't know three Scrappy songs. No, uh, oh, KKK, ain't that one of them? No problems. I know that one. Yeah. You don't want no problems, no problems. Nug if you buck. He got That's a, song. a group. I'm talking about that. That's a group. Yeah. Yeah. Scr- he, got, it's, he got a song called OKKK. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he sure would do. OKKK. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Something stupid, but. Yeah, I don't know none of the songs with him and uh, so, Bobby. Uh, the only song I know, uh, Bobby Bobby Tim to be on was the Lil Wayne. I mean, you know, outside of his solo, but uh, Mr. Officer. But that's still crazy. He was that motherfucker what? Yeah. He want wee, 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 <laughs> wee, 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 wee. <laughs> he want a wee, wee, wee. Yeah, dog. No. Yeah, that bitch had some, uh. Uh, she could wipe her ass and scratch the back of her head at the same time. Her head was so big. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. Bobby. Bobby. And yeah, that's another thing they like, I don't do. And that heterosexual bashing, you know how they say it's gay bashing if you talk about gays. But is that like heterosexual bashing that she was talking about? Like, well, I guess he's not heterosexual. The, the <laughs> voice. He's a sucker for love, man. That's all he is. The voice, though, you can, you can hear it in the voice. Like. <laughs> don't run Steve yeah, Valentino like, Don't run Steve Valentino Like when, when females When females Talking their voice Sound iffy uh-huh. Questioning that <laughs> Now you got some Oh you got a daughter Can I see your uh, Pregnancy picture <laughs> 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 Let 
No, no. I want to see you actually with the baby in your belly. Why you want to see that? Oh, I just like that kind of stuff. That's beautiful. That's the, the that's the art. The woman with the baby in her. That's just the most beautiful. You fuck a chick pregnant. Uh, pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You fuck a chick that's pregnant. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Talk about if it's not your bitch. You don't feel like you. Nah. Violating. Nah, she don't care. I don't care. You, you can't reduce yourself to our standards. It ain't my child. Yeah, I don't, yeah. If it was like my what girl. if a nigga was hitting your bitch and she has a child in? Yeah, I mean, yeah. she ain't my problem, bitch no man. more. Yeah, uh, she just carried my baby. with me, we done broke up. Nah, but what if I ain't can't broke up? Uh, well, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't hit. Okay. Like, if it was my girl, girl. not knowing. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, no, like this. Like she like eight, 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 eight or nine months. Like she might go in labor while you fucking her. Ah, damn. I mean, like. If I was there at the beginning and she said, I just this is your kid, you, you think that it might not be my kid. I know, I knew well, a nigga. Anybody's going to be hit while you're pregnant until we find out. <laughs> yeah. I knew it's a nigga, he knew it wasn't his. He was going out saying it was. Damn. You what? I knew a nigga that knew it wasn't his. He, he met her, she was like three months pregnant. He going around saying his head. Like, man, you a fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, Somebody asked me what I do. Nah, I'm good. That's some I can't do no shit. shit like that. Do what? If she two or three months, yeah, and I'm walking around, yeah, that's my baby. Hell no, nah, fuck that. What if y'all made a connection? Fuck that. You and the baby. Nah, who? <laughs> <laughs> you and the baby make a connection. You touch your you belly touch and shit. Yeah, and you know, and y'all got you. Y'all got hands. <laughs> y'all got hands. Y'all got hands. Y'all got hands. Nah. Nah. What about us? Like, damn, like, what did you say, man? Like, yeah, I couldn't like, hit nobody. You dickhead. If hey, you just dress the baby first thing you dickhead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got that good hair for me. Yeah. Yeah. All that protein. You got that <laughs> you got the, damn, you got the dick on that shit. Man, I'm hold on, hold on. Here's, here's a crazy question. And if it's a boy, you bust out in there. What if he come out gay because he been taking cum? That's what's up. So, that's, that's, that's what man. I did. That's going too far. <laughs> now you've gone too far. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I don't know where he went wrong. I do. <laughs> <laughs> but what, um, that, that leads me to think, like, we talking about women having sex when they pregnant with somebody outside and they follow. What y'all be thinking about chicks who be at a club pregnant? That's, that's, and now, hold on, I'm going to go somewhere else with this in a minute to a, a real serious place. But what do you think? Like, he's like, why? What, what, what the fuck make you want to go to the club with a baby in you? Oh, that's dog. like first off, you violating like you sneaking in, like pregnant, like, showing. That's like two ba- two people. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you didn't pay for that baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sneaking yeah, yeah, yeah. in here. Yeah, like pregnant, showing. Damn, that's fucked up. What type of club is it? Like uh, any, any club where they play music, where motherfuckers got potential, to get shot. Shit, that's anywhere. Now, I'm gonna, what made me think about this was some serious shit though. Remember the chick got killed down in my sunset? Mm. Yeah, they said she was pregnant. Yeah, is that yeah. true? Yeah. I don't know if it was true or not. The whole, the whole situation with her was... She wanted to target. But she was hanging with a nigga that was, so it was like... Can't hang with your family? Just like Bobby me. Valentino and Lil Scrappy. Not, like no, what saying. Man, that situation, nigga had a... Uh, $50,000. On his head. Still, like, not had. Still, it's still, yeah. Head. So it was like, they, don't, they were going after anybody. First off, no disrespect to this young lady or her family. Shit. It's just, I thought she worked at Sunset. Uh-uh. They was, it was his birthday party. Uh, it was she, but she, the chick well, can't skate, you know. Pass for that. What's that? Going mean, to the strip club well, birthday it, for a birthday party? That must have been a celebration. Yeah, it was a family. A family. No, what was it? Ain't no family. Oh, she was black. Sunset. I, I, I got... I, I, <laughs> I mean, y'all family values. I got... Yeah. I, I got you don't come support me at the goddamn strip club. <laughs> hey, why you don't fuck with, why you don't fuck with Shelly no more? Bitch, they come to Sunset. It's their party. Yeah, that whole situation was fucked up because... Then they three, shot at the funeral. Yeah, three perception. people got... Because I was talking to some co-workers. That old lady got shot. 62 years old. Like, damn, you done lived your whole life. And at 62, you get shot. In the yeah, leg. Yeah, like, yeah. Damn. After, after 35, I'm not trying Hell, to... Hell, not to change subject. The nigga was 62 with OJ that we got in trouble. And went to jail. Who, Who OJ? The dude that was with OJ when they uh, took his shit back. <laughs> I'm talking about getting shot, though. That's, shit. Going to jail for 40 years at 62, he shit. Ain't in 40 years. I was the only person that did time on the case. Nah, that's a dude with jail, too. He ain't in jail right now. I mean, shit. Yeah. But, yeah, back to you. I mean, that's still about to get shot at 62. Yeah, I'm not trying Who to. Who got shot at 62? They shot at the funeral procession. Somebody got shot. Who was uh, the old shot lady, the uh, again? Old, old lady, lady got shot. He got shot, too. He got shot, too. Old lady got shot at 62. Nah, she got shot at the lady. Well, you that old dude. She's slipping. All right, once again. All right, once again. When you back, yo. 
rest of this show are slow, slowly. <laughs> when you are slipping, when you when you sixty two year old woman, you supposed to be in nose for at least forty years. Look, right now. look, look. The she's, life alert. <laughs> she's supposed to be having only for falling. Yeah, no, listen. <laughs> Bitch has been nosy since they were little kids. So she should have been the first one to know that but somebody ruffling through the fucking. No, 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 they, no, they, no, they, they drove up. They, they was, was driving. She should have heard the tires. <laughs> they was, the, they <laughs> was in line <laughs> with them. At the yeah, yeah. Position. They followed them from the church yeah, they to set the. Them up. Then to another the one got shot in the face. A thirty-two year old. What? Yeah, that motherfucker was just shooting people. Yeah, they were shooting at him, and he had two other people in the car with him. Did anybody record any of this? This one, uh, this one, I don't. The want. chick was on a snap. Uh, they interviewed a chick. Her, you know, they find the most ghetto black I seen, person. I seen her too. This is, I was just doing the Snapchat. You know, what I'm saying that I hear pop, 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 pop. Oh man, they go get her. They said they shot her car. They up. shot her car up. I was like, damn. We were just trying to put her in the carriage to go to the funeral, go to the cemetery, and these two cars just roll up and start shooting. Exactly. Lord Jesus, a fire! Ain't nobody got time for that. She said, "I just got through Snapchat. <laughs> I got bronchitis." <laughs> <laughs> but no, that, like we ain't making a lot of the actual situation. That's, that's saying that's like high level. Yeah. That's like high level. That's like some movie shit. Hell though. yeah! All I can think of yeah. the, the Nino Brown Nino. wedding. Yeah, that's yeah. all I can think about. But. But Are the last but, down at the basketball game, Master people. Do you feel like when you oh. when you know <laughs> family members like that, you put yourself in that risk? You feel like what? Do you feel like you taking a chance by hanging with? Of course. I mean, that, if you if I know you got fifty racks in your head, I make sure that I'm in the shoot my position uh, in the car. Time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. they, they, they said that whole family been like that for years. Yeah, they, they just did. just shady and I don't say shady. They just, they've been um, in the streets like that for years. Like, it ain't just him. It started it? with his daddy. Dad, grandfather, all that. Yeah. So, it's like, that nigga got 50K on his head. They don't care who they get. The what do you do to get 50,000 on your head? This ain't the wire where they had a seven Sunday truce. He got a... Uh, like, it's like the Godfather. Seven. He yeah. the he, he supposed but, I mean, to have he 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 seven, yeah, 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 seven people killed. Yeah, yeah. He done had seven people killed. He done had seven people killed. Nigga arrogant. Yeah. And they know he ain't going to be expecting it. And he took a plea today and got served no jail time. He he did what now? He wasn't expecting it. Like you said, at a funeral, well, ain't nobody going to shoot no funeral. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Tell him something about your day. Man, back in my day, over there on, uh, between 56 and 46 in Arlington, man, we had the thing running, man. But, uh, I can't speak on how many bodies we had over there, but niggas don't have uh, any respect nowadays, man. They don't. Funeral's supposed to be off limits. Funeral was supposed to be off limits. Church. Saturday church. Church. Mosque, church Jesus, church ended a couple of years back. Huh? They started shooting up church a couple of years back. Yeah, so back. once you cross that Somebody line. Somebody got riding at church two weeks ago. There is no, there's no coming back, man. Yeah. If we gonna, now we're going to shoot at grandma's house. I mean, you already shooting old ladies. It's going to go. Yeah. I don't think nowhere is safe no more. Yeah, I know, some, I know some, some people that. It like, might be worse up to record it. Do what? Document. I don't know why I give any credit to Indianapolis. Indianapolis kind of crazy. <laughs> we in Red Sox. Since Mike Taylor died back in 80 something. In the back of a car. <laughs> yeah, a police car. Yeah. This nigga said. Say he shot himself. We in Red Sox. He said Red Sox. So that gives. You got 20 seconds. Yeah. That gives us. Uh, <laughs> this head head head. That, I saw some dancing. The South Flamingo. Yeah, I'm wearing my clothes punch out, but, um... This is the Denzel. Yeah, gangster, man. Look at that dress. Climbing. I'll pack. That's the type of rug. Yeah, I'll pack. Let me tell you something. Yeah, man. You want to see Mickey Barnes? Are you want to see a jail cell with him? Put on some other shit, though, man. Let's transition a little bit. Talk about something a little bit less... Sadly funny. Uh... What about Coon Lewis? Get into that, man. I'll be jumping to judgment all the time. Talk about Ray Lewis. Uh, yeah. In the Colin Kaepernick situation, they met up talking about, um, they was talking about the Baltimore Ravens consider signing Gonzo. So, so, <laughs> <laughs> so they talked to Ray Lewis about yeah. it first. Ray Lewis, Ray Lewis, anybody know, he's probably the best linebacker. <clears throat> well, easily the best linebacker in franchise history. Easily top five in NFL history. Second football player get away with murder. Who was the first? OJ. OJ? He wasn't active, so he don't count. Nah. He, he was an actor by that time. He was no longer nah. a football player. <laughs> so Ray Lewis is in uh, a I class all by himself. Yes. But um, he, he, they, they got, um, damn. 
they contacted him about signing uh, the potential, possibly signing Gonzo as a backup. And what was Ray Lewis' comments exactly? He said, uh, "He there you go right there." He said, "Let take time, baby." Let Lord, you say, he basically said, "Let his play do the talking." Fox, I got all of these texts and stuff about all of this Colin Kaepernick stuff and all this stuff. Let me explain something to you guys. I, I'm gonna be very simple with this. While a bunch of people are talking about this man, Kaepernick <laughs> takes up brother. I pray for you more than you ever you can imagine. All right, your name is in my Bible. That God gives you the vision that you did. I applaud you for the things that you stood up for. My brother, everybody else can speak for you, but until you speak for yourself and demand what you want to do in life, it's totally on you. But it's, it's almost crazy that you see people always trying to respond. Let me tell you something, my man. I've made mistakes in my life, but I promise you, if you look at my track record, the mistakes I've made, I've never repeated twice. You understand? And so what I want to tell you is, from man to man, brother, I ain't got nothing against you. I wish you the best in life. I hope you chase whatever God got for you to chase, all right? And once again, I applaud what you stood up for, because I'm in the streets every day. So my people talking about what this and why Ray said this, why I'm saying that Ray ain't saying nothing. And if people really want to help you, if they really want to help you, man, they'll pray for you, brother. All right? They'll lead you the right way and stop encouraging you to be caught up in some of this nonsense. The battles you fight, brother, people way before has been fighting these for many, many, many years. And that's why I take each and every one of these kids. And that's why I take them away from their environments and give them something else to see in life. And that's why I play the way I play. The football field is our sanctuary. If you do nothing else, young man, get back on the football field and let your play speak for itself. And what you do off the field, don't let too many people know because they're going to judge you anyway, no matter what you do, no matter if it's good or bad. All right? Yeah, be good. Take care of yourself. Brother for life. A lot of people talking for you. A lot of people got your back. Take care of yourself. Peace. Betsy told shut the fuck up. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm glad that you played that clip because, like, we... I'm go like we we quit to call somebody a coon when they don't believe something we believe in or like exactly think exactly how we think they they supposed to think and like listen to that clip right there Ray Lewis obviously he felt like he had to uh, give clarity on his position on the uh, Colin Kaepernick situation because after he went on uh, what's the show with Skip and uh, first take undisputed when he went undisputed it was like backlash coon coon I just don't know. I ain't want to do this. Just call a nigga coon for nothing. I, they said coon. I said coon. Like, I said coon. I, like, it was like an echo. And I thought about it. I said, damn, why am I calling him a coon? So I watched the interview. I'm like, shit, he really ain't said no coon shit to me. I, I think he did. Yeah. I, 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 hold on. I think he was taking. Okay. Hold on. I think he was taking a shot at Michael Vick. Because you know Michael Vick said, told him cut his hair. He don't listen to. He was like, don't listen to people. And he tell to listen to people with his camp to tell him to go forward. He, no, but he would, I, think, I, I think he was taking shade, like throwing shade. This is my opinion. Don't say shade. And, like, that's like how ratchet bitches. And also, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I feel like if you got this this pool with the Ravens where they reach out to you behind close, just say, hey, sign him. Let's sign him. Give him a chance instead of making a, a speech or he, he uh, totally like, was he praying? I nah, was, he it, was was like he was, it was like he was praying. It was a Snapchat video. It was like, yeah, you got, yeah. You got folky them glasses on. Dude. It was like, real glass. That would have been a filter. That would have filter? Nah, that was real no, glass. No, that was a filter. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm like, it was, it was, it was real oh, glass. man. It was, like, it was, it was, it was, Ray Lewis was getting that preacher money here. You know he might, that might be true, but it's <laughs> like, I feel like he, he was just trying to make himself known and took it away from like the real deal. I don't, I don't believe, I don't think it was sincere from Ray. Here's how I took it. Took it. He told him like, "Hey, just go play football. Fuck your protest. You know, people been been doing it for years and ain't shit happen. That's why I take these kids out and tell them to shut the fuck up. Go get this money <laughs> yeah. or whatever. That's basically what he's saying. Go like, you know, money. go get the money. You know, what I'm saying. I know you stand up for something, but we shut don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, you know shut what up. They gonna throw a football sixty yards. You still had a good passer rate. They can run, nigga. Why is it? This well, I mean, I, this, why y'all, this one, nah, I, 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 said, I look at what he said is, because Ray Lewis did something. He killed the nigga. He never got caught for it. He killed the nigga. He so got caught for it. Yeah, so, yeah. So I think his thing is, like I said earlier, when we was talking about it, you got to get your money. Like, yeah. 
despite what's going on, like a lot of these white owners, man, they got some racist views too, but you don't see them, like I told you earlier, you don't see them riding around with their cloths on anymore because they got money to make. Now, behind closed doors, you can put your money towards whatever activism you want, and if somebody calls you out on it, I wouldn't say duck and dodge it, but you know how to just so basically, rush it off. Basically, shut up and play. Because Ray Lewis, but I wouldn't tell him that on Twitter. I wouldn't That's what I'm yeah. saying. He he I'm not going to tell you to shut up and be quiet publicly. Yeah, he should have never did cool it. He should have never did it. Yeah, that's where the coach came in. the media to be he, quiet. He, he should have never. He should have never. Be like, look, here's the plan. This is how we're going to do it. Should have never made a video. If said everything he's about to do on Twitter, they would stop him. So whatever you're about to do. If you really think there's oppression out there, you can't publicize it. Danny does have a job with Although the Although his the knee wasn't that bad. But yeah, if he, they going to react like that, if eating watermelon in open field, <laughs> yeah. like, he's going to be picking cock, going to get you in trouble. <laughs> Come to, you got to let that protest so, go. So, <laughs> so get your money and protest. Go back money. to the field. Stay alive, baby. And, and, <clears> I, 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 I also hate when they join ESPN NFL Network and they had these views like, oh, yeah, he's totally wrong. Like, it's... Like, it's your job. Like, you shouldn't do that. This is your job. Just go play football. Knowing if you was on the other side, it didn't have to be PC. You wouldn't say that. I'm saying right here, I ain't got to be PC. It's your job. It's your job. And I believe it's a job. Like, you are working in corporate America. There's no rule you have to stand for the national anthem, though. If they tell you to stay, you no, got to stay. Don't. It's I say, if they tell you uh, to. And if it's the status quo of the place you're working at, you have to abide yeah, by the status quo. Like the, the once NBA, you put yourself, NBA, once you have home, to stand for Once it. you put yourself in a position to where you're under this motherfucker's thumb and you're working, then you have to do what's here. You're going to face the consequences, which is him being blackballed. He don't... Man, they, they the protest was to do it once or twice, and that, yeah. was, your, that was your statement. Yeah. This is the shit that they say. It, it sounds fucked up when they say it, but... Playing in the NFL is a fucking right and not a privilege. That's a, that's what it is. Ain't no motherfucker. You can't march for this shit. It's a it's a business. This is a business right here and shit. Like it's like when you go to a job, you get there. You know it's rules and shit you gotta abide by. And it's just that simple. Uh, if you, what rule did he break though? <laughs> he keeps saying I said, I said status quo. He, he did. I said he break. It's he not. It's not. He break no hold rule. on. Hold on. It's not a written rule. But you know that you don't deviate from the script that's put before you. If if you know who you are, Colin Kaepernick is essentially a fucking overrated backup to me, skill wise. This would not happen to a Tom Brady. This would not happen to somebody who's actually bringing something. Seventeen. Hold on. Seventeen. Seventeen. What? Seventeen. What? Stats last year. Seventeen. What? He's better than every quarterback got signed in the off season. Numbers lie. Numbers lie. Numbers lie. Colin Kaepernick is a bum. Brady would have got called out for it. Yeah. But they wouldn't have, he would have been blackballed. He been you, blackballed. You Brady leave a team, he's automatically going somewhere else. You have to know your worth. And before you hold on, it's like a, it's like an yeah. ugly nappy head bitch True. talking crazy to you. He fucked himself. Yeah, it's the same million thing. Million. <clears throat> huh? He fucked himself. But I'm, I'm 12 million. I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah. And if they he would have picked that type of issue, like, like if he was no, with that, like that, when I say John Brady, the issue that split people. Well, like, yeah, but hold on, but to stay away from issues that are going to split. Honestly, believe though, if, if he was winning, if he was winning, he could have put out. He could win with that team. I, I, I believe if he was winning, if he was Tom Brady, and they were winning and winning the Super Bowl and stuff. He would have got signed. He would have got signed. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh. If you generate yeah. big, the bottom line is a dollar. Yeah. The yeah. bottom yeah. line, hold on, the yeah. bottom line is a dollar. If Colin Kaepernick was driving fucking marketability and uh, all the motherfuckers, yeah, he can only do that. that if he doesn't split I, who he's dealing with. I do have When to. you're winning, they identify what you want. Nick was winning. Once when? he split, when? he was winning back what then. What was he winning? Who? He it, never it was what what games. was Vic He was winning, winning games. I'm what not was saying he that he was winning championships or anything. He was he winning games. The playoffs. The he was excited. He was excited. Once he split, that generated mean, ticket sales. Look, it's all about the dollar. Thought, Peter, what's the, Peter, you would have never thought that would have split him. But once they realized, damn, these people got a lot of pull. That's what it does. Off. And, now, if and that's great, you're going to do what everybody else do. You're going to come and back and apologize and then stop this shit. And that's what the owners, that great. That's what what the owners, that's what the owners are looking at. They're looking at it like, damn, we can't yeah. sign him. And if the world never acted, the United States never acted like that, he would have been all right. But I, once the media says this is how we're going to respond, that is it. you got to either go back in line 
Go get your new job. I, I got two points. So okay. I'm saying, I'm like saying, like, so when Ray Lewis, I don't feel like Ray Lewis all the time because this is what it well, is. It's a that. public he issue. He said, he said, put it out. He, he spoke, yeah, he put it out. He he spoke on it public. What if, even if he should have spoke on it public like and private, he's still not on all the time shit. He sounded like one of them. Just yeah, like he sounded like the medium. But you don't think you you don't think he said. Shut up. Yeah, that's what, what they say. Yeah. But don't tell me. Do. Don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me in front of the window. Yeah, I read it. I read it. I read it. Yeah, we go back and get our guts and they feed us. Harriet Tubman said, Yeah, Harriet Tubman said, 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 Harriet but the thing well, is, okay, what, all, yeah. But come on, get back to this. Because I don't believe he said. To, I don't believe he said what he really wanted to say. But back to Colin, like when they kept saying, "Wow, oh, they don't want no media circus over no bag or quarterback." That's bullshit. Tim Tebow kept getting jobs. Not no bad media circus. Yeah. Tim Tebow ain't keep getting no jobs. Yes, he did. They treated Tim Tebow like a nigga. He went to the Jets after Denver. He didn't media circus. He didn't left play, there. The, it don't matter. He still was getting signed. What, what did they he do? Come. What did he do? Did he sit out for national anthem? See, he's a media circuit. Don't matter what they say. They don't, they don't and they, and they might be equal talent wise. Yeah, I don't know, man. It always. You know, people took his Kaepernick better. What do Kaepernick do better? Yeah, what do he do? Throw better oh, what the, no, he don't. Yes, he, yes, his yes. accuracy is 60 on man. He can run better. He can run better. You think he'll show better? accuracy is better, but at least I'm shooting he for 100 yards. Yeah. He, he can't can run better. He throw a hitch. He he's faster, hits. but he don't run better. Tebow run much better than Colin Kaepernick. But Kaepernick keeps you a little bit concerned about his ability to pass. Who? So then he can get out. Ooh, they, they, put, ooh, they put 12 in the box. Man. There's 11 people on the field when Tebow got out of the quarterback. Man, no way. He's like, like Mike Vick. I don't believe That's Tebow. I don't believe Tebow. Uh, I think Kaepernick can throw better than Tebow. He definitely can. Kaepernick terrible. Tebow, Tebow has some hell of a five receiver because he got credit for that 80 yard. And it was a hitch. He threw a straight hitch. Yeah, and it was, he ran for the rest. Dude, dude, dude. What was that? What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. Oh, uh, Denver for the, the receiver for Denver that, ran, that caught the pass and ran. Was it Marshall? No, it was the uh, one for uh Peyton Manning. The, the damn Sanders. No, I, I can't think who it was. I'm gonna have to look that up. No, the the when they won a uh, playoff game, playoff game, game in o, in overtime. No, Tebow threw a hitch. He threw a hitch. Yeah, yeah. Thomas. Yeah, yeah, I think it was yeah. Thomas. Yeah. I think he threw it to Thomas. Marshall, I mean. I think he threw it to Thomas. And Thomas did the run. And oh, Tebow, Tebow didn't do shit. Tebow, though. Yeah, he is better than Tebow. But he got blackballed too. Is, is it a gigantic? At least ten, he wouldn't change position. They was they still wanted to give Tim Tebow a contract. He just didn't want to. He, he wanted to play quarterback. And seventy is still seventy. Yeah, Tebow. <laughs> seventy is still seventy. Tebow, Tebow, Tebow. That's you don't think Tebow you know, you know, didn't want to change position? If Tebow would not change position like they told him, he'd be in the NFL right now. You don't think Kaepernick is better than majority of the backups? But like you're not trying like. What does that mean? Like, when we say this, what does it mean? His athleticism allows him to. You get a chance, somebody better. get hurt. He did take a chance to the Super Bowl. He No, he didn't. Patrick Willis took a team to the Super Bowl. Navarro Bowman took the team to the Super Bowl. They that had, defense they took the team to the Super Bowl. They had hell of a that team. defense took them. That's almost saying, like, like, that's almost like saying, so when they went down goal. six, that's that's who like, threw touchdown pass? The defense or. Well, you got to judge when he In between, yeah. You judge all the breaks by when they have a team. Yeah. When he had a team, he went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and then once uh, Chip Kelly came You judge Grace by making the most out of bad teams. That's how you judge. No. And you, it's only a or the ability. Race. Hold on, hold on. Ask LeBron. Hold on. Cause the, yeah, ask LeBron. <laughs> you still put up. Kobe, I took that 0-7 team to the finals. You still put up numbers on bad teams if you're yeah, a good quarterback. Do you not? If you he don't never put up no outstanding numbers, he's never done nothing. You're like, man, we got to sign Kaepernick. How many years did he have the, before they blew the team up? One, two. But the thing is, the bowl, if yeah, you're yeah, that yeah. good, you still gonna figure out a way to put up some numbers. He don't put up numbers. Yeah, that will be. He only started for like a year and a half, though. Oh, and, you, and when he started the year, he went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, Alex Smith took it to the Super Bowl. Yeah, had the year. same defense, the lovely. same great everything. Yeah, he went to the Super Bowl. That's the injury type shit. Alex Smith would have did better with that team. It's a lot. Of, hey, but he didn't. Is, is he better than Alex Smith? I mean, technically, no, no, no. I'm not saying technically. Is he better than Alex Smith? Yep. That what? Not playing football. <laughs> the bottom line, and then, I'm gonna say this: When you say I, was, I think it was a system. 
Because Alex Smith really ain't shown me nothing since he left. Nothing. But, nothing. But, but he had to say, hold on, he had to say, hold on. But, 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 how in the fuck you think you blow a four a forty point lead as a quarterback fall? Out of no interceptions? That's cool. That's defense. That's, a, that's fault. defense. Oh, that's Boy, defense yeah. fault. Okay. Yeah, I, I I think Alex Smith is better. But I think they both shine in that system. That system cause they really if they messed up, we, the defense was good enough to get them out of Yeah. Like if your defense gets you on a ten yard line, all you gotta throw is ten yards you a touchdown. Would you, want, would you want them to be your team starting quarterback? Who? Kaepernick, yeah. I'm biased. I'm, 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 uh, <laughs> how that, how no, that fuck the bias. I'm talking about not I being, being, being non-biased. Do you want that nigga as your team starting I quarterback? I want Drew Brees as my starting I'm not talking about Drew Brees. I'm talking I, about what you want Colin Kaepernick as your starting quarterback. If, that, if Drew Brees died today in a plane crash, and everybody else was signed, I had to pick between Colin Kaepernick and everybody else that was going to sign, I want Colin Kaepernick. I'm going to say this. <laughs> I'm going to say this. So he like, he like, the, he like the last, like, I'm going to say this because, because the team I root for, <laughs> we'll take anybody. <laughs> I don't know. Bernie Kozar. Uh, 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 Bernie Kozar. Uh, 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 Oswald. 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 That's the only motherfucker I take Captain Nick over. Oswald. They got a ring. Huh? They got a ring. A lot of stupid bitches do too. They don't make them cool. Well, I done got two. So, Joe Sergi got back to back with me. This shit's fake to me. Uh, you think so? Cap, uh, hell yeah. I mean, because all of a sudden this nigga pouring water on African babies and shit, he all over the world <laughs> doing nice shit. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Like, he all, like, all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, I know, I figure if I was to bet anything, I bet he's being funded and directed to do these things. But on top of that, yeah, probably, I, yeah. when yeah. is the last so, time you heard quiet, Colin? Yeah, you here too. Shit. When was the last time you heard Colin Kaepernick say something about any of this? Everybody's stepping up saying things for him. He's not speaking for himself. Last, time, the, last it, time he said something was when he, he became, a, big. Last when, he week? Go, when he became a free agent. Like basically, that's when he was like, uh, he, he said, was gonna stand. He was gonna stand and yeah. this and that. But I think he did that. Like he said, he was being coach trying to, trying to get, trying to get a job. But two weeks ago, he said, and that like, don't make him no sucker. No, I will tell me up. A nigga controlled by money. When I stand up now, sir. But shit, if it's about money, no, you're going no, to no, no. $12 million. He opted out of $12 million guarantee. And hey, listen, and that, and that, and that, goes, back, back. Wouldn't. that goes back you to my saying. You ain't got a path come back from. That yeah. goes, that goes back to me two, saying. One sit down or kneel down. And that's it. That's, that's all they need. That goes back to me saying he's funded by somebody to walk away from $12 million. And then it's the doofus, goofy nigga that you're crying talking about what the NFL doing to Colin Kaepernick. This nigga walked away from twelve million dollars. You getting up to go to a job you hate more than you out here fucking jumping up for him. <laughs> <laughs> you going to a job you fucking hate and you out here advocating for a nigga that walked away from twelve million dollars. Obviously he didn't care about the twelve million. He had his income was uh, income was supplemented somewhere else. So yeah. who would you think is funny though? Yeah. Some kind of liberal some group. Some people not be some, fine some liberal oh. some liberal group, uh yeah, that's about it. You know he touched nerves when they started trying to find everything. Oh, he wore pig socks in the preseason. <laughs> he had, that's a, just, he had, that's a, he had a uh, Shaker just... Railroad shirt on. Like, they was finding everything. Yeah, yeah, Shaker Railroad. He did. Everybody wore Shaker Railroad shirt. I know. Everybody know he was a communist idiot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He just looked cool in the shirts. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, oh, that's a different story, man. Motherfuckers just be jumping on waves and shit, man. That shit crazy. Yes, they had pig socks. How you just, talk about the police? Them, them socks is dope as fuck. It's just, yeah. it just funny how ESPN know who to, who to have interviewed. Yeah, like when they it's, when it's, when it's a woman men. shit, they put all the women line up through the whole day with the domestic violence. <laughs> women all day long. Yeah, with ESPN. Yeah, I remember when Ray Lewis beat that bitch up in the elevator, man. I couldn't enjoy the NFL season no more. Every fucking commercial saying, please, don't hit women. Yeah. They don't deserve to be hit. Stop hitting women. Even though she hit you with a fucking log. Even though she hit you with a Even though she hit you with a fucking log. When y'all was out there fishing and shit in the woods, you shouldn't hit women. I had to watch commercials like that for the rest of the fucking season. I'm glad they let Ray. Yeah, the crazy thing. You know what I hate? He never signed, though, did he? Yeah, 
He didn't deserve to sign them. Where he wanted I to hate when they person. say, uh, <laughs> if you're a man, walk away, be bigger. But if you're a woman, do anything to get away. Fight. I like, shouldn't it be the same thing? And it's yes. weird because like, that's when women cry about double standards. Yeah. Like, if everything was flat out, even across the board, bitch, you'd be around here with a black eye every day. Yeah, let that nigga turn you quarter back in the league. Let yeah. Brandy Grider. <laughs> <laughs> Which leads me to this. It leads me to this. That probably was on the video. Hot Goodbye, Bobby. Valentino. Oh, Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> Come here and work on my jump shot. Yeah. Bobby. Hey, boo. Shoot, shoot the ball. Joanna, man. <laughs> we got your shoes. That nigga went flitz, though. Man, that nigga I said. I need my keys. Yeah, I got to go get my keys. Yeah, I got to go get my keys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Would you turn around for your blunt? You've got your weed. Skates. Yeah, I'm going back to my skates. See, 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 see. Yeah. Y'all should have been in there with the skates. <laughs> y'all y'all, y'all the answer it right. Should have been in there with the skates. If anybody got my skates, I'm going back to get my skates. So I said, man, one for the chair. Oh. I would be that situation like that. But, 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 but um, hypothetical question. If you knew that you could be the richest woman in, in WNBA history, you get a sex change play in the WNBA. <laughs> sex change, no. 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 Sex change, all the way, no. Almost. All the way. Damn, all right, look, what are you going to have? No, 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 these motherfuckers are sick, but like, when does it stop? Like, if niggas want to get their dicks cut off and just start invading women's, like, go. If like I, the H2B if H2B I got a short change right now, I'm going to win every Olympic event that requires physical <laughs> strength. I'll be out there body boys. slamming bitches and yeah. shit. I don't think they still get me this gymnastic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but these, uh, a bitch can't out archer me. You can't <laughs> beat me in nothing. You can't beat me in water polo. I'll be boxing. I'll be not. Ah, yeah. Shit. Well, I'm like, hey, I'll be on Because now this I got to do is what you identify as now on your birth certificate. I'll, I'll be out there. Like, I identify as a woman. It's like, with having a daughter, like, nah, you go in the version of what you was on your birth certificate. You was a boy. You're trying to get the world to where you just. It's gender. Yeah. It's genderless. And you just love them because you love them. And that's, and Not and, because and, of what and, they and used and to be, Steve. And again, yeah. honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just also, on some real shit. Now, that first tip, somebody tries to say they want the kid to be genderless till they identify, till they can find their soulmate, and y'all can switch whatever, and that way y'all can match. Like, hey, who's. Switch to the other changes, you know. On some other shit, though, man, it's all this is all spiritual. Like, we it's like this, is like how Satan works. He's trying to get the word the world in this gender with state. And it's like anarchy, it's like order out of chaos. It's like do what you will and shit. Like, no matter what, it's right. Like, that's what do what that will. As long as you feel good, it's a feel yeah. good thing. And it's it, this is spirit. It, this ain't even like we talk about things like. You deal with principalities and shit, the things that you can't see, and it, it, it's spiritual shit. Like you, it's nothing physical going on. It's like a mental thing and a spiritual thing, where it's engrossing the world and shit. And people are so fucking scared to stand up against it. That's how the United States is imperial now. Like the United States is fucking Babylon, Sodom and Gomorrah. This motherfucker gonna burn, and it's because ain't nobody standing up because you can't say shit. Bo keep getting kicked off Facebook every time he say something about these motherfuckers. Yeah, good. every be, time. Be Facebook jail. And it, and it go into like when you said when really? you said that. Yeah, yeah. No yeah. shit. He got a training on his page up. Uh, <laughs> training. <laughs> <laughs> got to Bruce. Got, Bruce follow. <laughs> your friend. <laughs> but it, it's crazy though, man. Like Caitlyn's your friend. <laughs> it's crazy as hell though, man. Because it's just too popular. It's too sudden. It's the fad. Like it's motherfuckers fad. scared to say something. Like, you scared to say, like, if you say, man, you should, hey, you should be sucking that dick, man, out on that park bench out in front of these kids like that. Oh, you're judging me. <laughs> you know, or you know, it's like that. Oh, you're judging me. You're bashing me. You, you see that picture I showed you on that motherfucker at uh, Tires Plus? You, ain't see, you see that picture I took of that nigga in there? You ain't never see that picture? Man, look, I'm in Tires Plus. I, I think I've seen it, but I don't remember. I'm in Tires Plus. I've seen this giant nigga in here with these motherfucking giant nigga feet. But he was white, dude. Uh, yeah. 
he in there with these giant ass gross looking feet. And he like he and women like he got a dress on and shit. They were like the nigga at McDonald's on sixteenth Street. So what I do? Black dude had purple hair and everything, so when they I, I said I need to speak to the manager and they said they said, Sir and I thought they was talking to the dude, so the dude didn't get us like damn sir and then it turned around <laughs> and it had purple hair like a uh, perm and shit. I said, what the fuck? I said, I don't even want nothing. So after y'all had y'all a cup of coffee? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> I, I, I went there. They was fucking up on my order. I said, like, can I speak to the manager? And he said, Mr. Demetrius or whatever his name was. I, like I said. <laughs> And that's how fast answer. Yeah, he, he turned around like that, I, all sassy and shit. That's all. Right, let me just get my money back. I'm, I'm cool. So it was so gay. Yeah. So it, it was so gay in there. You wanted your money back. Man, it's just I already knew what was about to happen. What was about to happen? I like to know. They like, ah, you know, you just this and shit. Nah, you know how they they get real sassy they with you. They are flipping mm-hmm. on make you out. Yeah, make you out to the bad guy. If we don't order a fucking four piece nugget and fries thirty minutes ago, <laughs> y'all gonna be like I'm the one in the wrong. Like yeah, I ain't back there because them nuggets and fries. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I take that off. Yeah, so turn around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, everybody play soccer with my shit. Man, just give me a refund. <laughs> but like, it, it's crazy though, man. Like just away from the jokes, it's it's an agenda being pushed. That's how you gotta watch your kids, man. Like you gotta watch what your kids watch on TV. You gotta watch who they around. Because people don't be wanting to hear this, but that transgender shit, most of them motherfuckers mentally fuck. Like, I, if I was just giving a blanket statement, I would say that 85 to 95% of them were molested as kids. Yeah, I think they was touched. You know what I'm saying? You don't just. Touched. That just ain't. I'm a, it, it's just so abnormal. I'm going to say, I think. I'm going I'm I'm to <laughs> take it down a little bit, that percent. I think now it's so trendy. It's so trendy now, they just doing this shit. Just to fit in. To fit in. Like Robbie. Like, I, I would... Robbie Turk, they had a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 shit. like, back in the day, I would say 80, 85. Now, I think motherfuckers just doing it just, oh, I ain't gay. They'd be like, I ain't gay, but they continue doing, like, gay shit. shit. Like, people got issues now, baby. Yeah. Like, who don't want to be that fit in that bag? Go bust a window. Still a cop bar. Yeah, <laughs> still a cop bar. <laughs> but yeah, they'd be like, what the fuck? Like, really? Like, okay. Especially the females. They don't know. They'll be gay one minute and then they pray. The are next. they? Yeah. Are they be like, I don't want no niggas. I'm done with dudes. Dudes ain't shit. They go get a girl. They look, look like a nigga. And look, dudes a strap like a on. Please. This is the Twilight Zone. <laughs> this is the Twilight Zone. Right. But, um, we about to wrap this up, man. We done went. I, I started everybody off late, man. I ain't trying to go late like I did last week. Boy. It was like a three-hour special last week. Yeah, it was. It was like a school I special. I kept going like this, and you were still going. I thought you were doing that gay rodeo shit you like to do. <laughs> 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 I never heard of a gay rodeo. Uh, that's why I was confused. <laughs> How did you know about it? Because you was doing this. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Wrap that shit I up. I know what your raise is. But uh, on some real shit, though, uh, fantastic show. Uh, I thank y'all for joining in with me. Um, Besides, you had to come here. It's like you came to Chernobyl. Oh, it's like you came to Chernobyl and shit like last week I destroyed the Russian Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> can't be destroyed. Huh? They can't oh, be destroyed. Oh, the motherfucker killed that shit. Uh-oh. But, uh, <laughs> look, he got all Drago on me and shit, face got all stern. Can't be destroyed. Yeah. We will never surrender. Who? And that's the most fucked up thing. This is how you surrendered. We win. After all this last night, like, Corey, you know, dude, married to a white woman. Or we die. Is he? You know, he got a white wife. <laughs> yeah! White girl. You know, he got a white wife. No! Uh, uh, excuse me. 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 Excuse yeah, that was two thirties. Is it going out? Mm-hmm. But that was like my that was, that was a good show, man. Like we had everybody was talking about it, and they crowned me king. I went to Johnny and crowned king. Thing is, man, a situation like that, I don't be trying to prove like what I know or no shit. That's exactly like, what you was doing. I as, mean, a, as a real friend, how, I'm about to tell you. Last that's how week, come on. you was telling that nigga what you do, and he was wrong basically for three hours. It was almost <laughs> like put the nigga across your knee. It was like, yo. It's gonna hurt you, hurt me more than it hurts you. And you 
Damn, a nigga married to a white woman. Yeah. This is the thing, though, man. When I get a situation like that, man, I ask the most hard for uh, to humble me. Because I don't be wanting to come off like a child. You did last Tuesday. I honestly did forget to. But you forget to. <laughs> forgot. Yeah. But the thing is, I, like, I my man ain't to prove week. nobody wrong, like, far as I'm concerned, man. Like, I want us all to figure out who we are and know how to get through this fucking bondage and when the second exit is coming to be ready. I don't want nobody to come and shit, man. I don't want nobody falling to... Because he was addi- he's addicted to to rhetoric. He's addicted to somebody else's fucking speech. Like, it's not that he studied for himself. That's why he references somebody else every time. And he can't deviate from that. And we shouldn't be like that. We shouldn't be like robots. And it ain't no disrespect to him or nothing, but the most high in respect are persons. So I'm not going to respect your feelings. You know what I'm saying? It's like if we... And it was it was cool. It was cool. Yeah. But it's not something that I'll do again. Yeah. Not with that limited knowledge that he had, because it wasn't edifying for me. Three things I would talk about: religion. That's why I go religion. That's that goofy ass shit that, that motherfuckers change. always say. <laughs> 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 I hate when niggas say I don't talk about religion. Yeah, I don't uh, talk about. But they argue. They but they argue to death about ignorant shit. I thought we did. I hate when niggas say that shit. Let me give you my top ten. We're gonna say. Hold on. We're gonna say after when we get some. Rapper here. But the thing is, I oh, hate when local. niggas say that shit because they heard a white person say that. Nah, niggas don't I, talk I, like that. That's not how niggas. I don't talk about religion. I don't talk about politics. I, I, don't, I don't argue. That ain't how niggas talk. We argue all the time. We argue over if you get shot over a Madden game. But you want to talk about some real life shit. When people say they don't talk about these things because they're not equipped to talk about these hold things. Hold on, hold on, nigga. I, I know I'm equipped to talk. Well, why don't you? I just don't want to. Why? For what? Why wouldn't you? Calico Why do you argue court? about Calico uh, looks? I don't argue about Calico looks. Because you ain't got a leg to stand on. Calico choked and lost 2-1. He choked and lost 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> Look, things like this don't let you go aside. I know you got a porn beating, man. Don't get up interrupted. This is embarrassing. It's <laughs> running for a professional shift here. This is text, like Steve. He let this my last day at the casino uh, party. Next week, in case I do show a shot, it's lonely at the top. <laughs> <laughs> but real shit, though, man. Y- y'all can't be saying superficial shit like that, though, man. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion. Because you can't have a truthful dialogue with nobody else in life and you can't figure out how to proceed if you keep ducking and dodging things like that. <clears throat> saying shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. I lost my train of thought. The thing is, this is a casino, nobody. Hey, you doing that rodeo shit, man. That damn pride thing that you doing. And I can't wait till y'all listen and see this video, man. You know, we're we're right, busting loose. Uh, now we need to uh, uh, oh, the Dave Chappelle show. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Then wrap it up. Yo, son, wrap it up. Anything y'all say important? Nope. nope. You want to tell them where they can find you on social media, uh, Greg here? <laughs> Greg, Greg Hawk. <laughs> I think I'm in Facebook jail again. Are you fucking? <laughs> wow. Damn. I think I got put in Facebook jail again. Why you say that? I don't know. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bo put up a stat that said. Hey, log, log in or not? He can't do that. Okay, it's working. My phone just froze up. I was about to say. <laughs> he want to he wanna, he wanna be a, he wanna be a refugee. He want to be like a fucking political prisoner so bad. He went as far as to lie to us right now. He went to Mandela. He went to Mandela. He went to Mandela on Facebook. <laughs> it's an injustice they put me in Facebook jail for 27 years. <laughs> hey, we're about to wrap it up. Anything you want to say in part? Uh, hold on. Our friend want to say something. Don't run by me. Don't run by me. Oh, name. The whole name. Whole fucking name. I'm going to let y'all know who I just, who, I just got done saying. I don't want to say that because that might use a sound clip against me. I'm going to let y'all know who. My God, Tino. It's not some real. You left your watch. It's like the uh, second artist they said is gay and shit. Who else? Last week it was Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates is a fucking faggot. Because I didn't know that shit. That shit shocked me. Like when they said that, I got the glue. I never the video. seen it or nothing. I just I heard it secondhand, so I don't want to speak on it. Like I do. <laughs> that shit was funny. They said he be saying he about like, all these women gestures and shit. I don't they know said something about some gay shit. He like if I don't want hitting or getting some he shit said, like that. They said they said they said you a fan. He said did they say I was on the top or the bottom? Ah yeah, that that's that's basically that's what he said. Yeah. Like nigga, that's not the proper answer. <laughs> that's not the proper answer. We can wrap it up to a size. You got anything you want to say? Well, 
don't know. We shit. Just say no. Just say no. I don't have anything to say. I'm trying to get some deep. I'm trying to get deep. One fish, two fish. Who's out? I'll be telling people, man, it's one of my most intelligent friends. I've been trying to. Damn. I mean that at all. Uh, I've been trying to get him come on the show and uh, kick it and shit. He be acting all sedated. Well, I get my bow tie. We, we go. Get chop it up. I'll bring him back. No. Uh, 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 like, I didn't have a problem with just right now. Yeah. But you, it hurt me. Like, I'll be crying and I'll talk to you. Like, I'll be, I'll, 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 I'll be crying and I'll come back. Back with that. <laughs> Malcolm, Malcolm in the middle ain't got shit for me. Back with the middle. Yeah. Malcolm Ball Water. Malcolm Ball Water. They one step behind. You know, they, they one step That's how behind. I look. I told somebody Faircon been sitting right here got that same treatment. Faircon oh, sitting right here got that same treatment. Depends. Yeah, because cause everything like. Live camera or not live camera? Live. Anywhere. He, he, Faircon could have got out of it. Yeah. Because yeah. we could we go when you know enough about the truth, you can get out of it. But where somebody know a little bit more about you? No, that's not what I'm saying. When he could because you know the truth because he couldn't reference the Bible and beat me. Not not trying to put himself in the Bible, he couldn't. It's it's he he knows what's happening, you know. I don't think those are his sheep that see me, those okay. his sheep, you know. He knows what's up. Mm -hmm. Like, we've even like he's come over. To Orthodox, yeah, it's things with us, you know. But we ask why you go back and still, cause you know he he record. have that bag, ain't he? Keep it a buck, keep it a buck, man. He have that bag. bag. It's, it's the it's, it's the, the status. It's, it's the uh, it's the nation, you know. They have control of that that movement. So he can't lead, but I'm saying he looks at himself like if I believe he's, he's a leader of a leader. nation, like a real live nation. Like when you talk about Mandela, when you talk about the nigga from Cuba, when you talk about anybody. You got to put him up there. That's why he dressed and walk around like that. He's got political connections all over the world. He knows what's up, man. He's smart enough to study the history. He start, he, if he's smart, he said the fuck away from here. Cause I don't, don't want to do any idea uh, like his grasshopper. <laughs> he just can't tell you the plan. I wonder, I wonder if that nigga know. I wonder if Farrakhan know that nigga married to a white girl. He probably don't. <laughs> would, they, would they kick him out? Yeah, he still got kicked out. Oh, you got kicked out for... Hold on. I still have law. Yeah, so you couldn't right. get in married to a white woman? Nuh-uh. I'm stitched. I don't know if he's changed he's that law. I'm stitched. They're not even allowed to sell that, uh, that newspaper to white Give me your papers. Give me your bean pods. Take your tie off. Oh, get out of here. Bean pod, man. The bean pods are important. I keep hearing that. I ain't never... Like, we was talking, we was talking, nigga, bean pot, you don't sound like some shit that just go together. Yeah, that's what, that's, that's like what, dirty pussy. Is like, that you know, one bad and one good. Is it beans? Yeah, like, you want to know the beans? Bean. Like nah, you want to know? Man, I was like a big time. That's kind of they just beans, Hey, 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 we about to get out of here. I don't give a fuck about no bean pot, no disrespect. On that note, get your bean pot 38. Your incense, your smell good. Your oils. Get you a scarf for the lady, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? Get you a scarf for the lady, Bobby. <laughs> Get the Swisher Sweets. Yeah. He can't come back from that. Yeah, he can. <laughs> Like, just think he been writing for a lot of people, too. Like, he ain't better. Remember, like, he gonna survive. He might as well just go in there and brace that shit. He might as well just be like, yeah. He ain't gonna say yeah, but he be like, nah, what he gotta say is like. the LBJ tape. Don't say nothing. Yeah, he probably gonna capitalize on it. I mean, like, but I don't never, like, I ain't never suck no dick. He just, and I make sure he hold his out the way when I figure it. He got to say, he got to embrace it. He got to embrace it. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take your word. Yeah, Take your word. Hey, stop that camera. Sound all kind of gay artists. Hey, Mike, you got to get out of here. Yeah, I got to get out of here.